We're at CrossFit Kirui. It is 6.12 a.m. and we're about to start the workout of the day. We're doing some sort of ground to overhead and pull up. I feel like there's burpees and skipping as well. Pick on. Yes. Relax. She doesn't have groups on, so like this bar's more slippery, especially when she's sweaty. She like can't get as aggressive. But like when she goes on the tape, because she doesn't have grips, it makes it like sticky. So she like gets a bit more aggressive. It's easier. It is such a difference. It makes it like sticky, so like on the way down, it does you don't like swing as much. Yeah. But like when you've got grips on, it's not as different from a normal bar. It makes pull-ups easier because you can like you don't have to re-grip all the time. Because like you just stay there, but no preference really, except for bar muscle ups. 16 minute air wrap, as many rounds as possible in the 16 minutes. 5 round overheads, 10 pull ups, 15 burpees and 30 double unders. My brother, he moved back from Canada to coach here. Pretty pumped to have him, he's a good coach when he likes me. <laughs> when he's not mad at me about something. He competed in the uh, Canada West Regionals last year. It's like, he came 11 in the Open, in that region. Three. Quarter to seven. Uh, first thing I do in the morning is make coffee. Oh, that's a good coffee. Something that's not instant. Got the beans in the grinder. Um, I only got this for my birthday actually, so grounded freshly. So my name's Joel Munro, I'm 25. Started CrossFit probably at the start of 2013, so just before the 2013 open. Well, when I first started CrossFit, it was for footy, and then I sort of stopped playing footy, and I wanted, still wanted that competitive feeling. And I joined the Air Force, I'm in the Air Force now as well. Made regionals 2015 for the first time, and I finished 15th, and that was my best. Last year, I finished 31st. My first year was really good, I enjoyed it. Like, I didn't have any expectations going into it, I just had fun with it all. Last year, I sort of, I probably made myself a bit too nervous, put a bit too much expectations on myself, and sort of crumbled under the pressure. I did well on that, that handstand push up chest to bar row one. That was, that, was a good, that was a good experience, especially like going next to Zeke and um, like going toe to toe with him, like back and forth was good. So we're gonna go up Mount Ainsley and we're gonna just run for a minute. Where are we going, baby? I'll go up those stairs first. I'm going to run for a minute and then just walk for a minute and just keep doing that until we get to the top. The short, sharp line, and Emily's doing it, and so is Dougie. <laughs> Oh, that's serotonin. How Did you ever go there? Job. Yes. <laughs> that was really Is that good? good? Yeah. Man, I need experience. I need that in my life. Yeah. I a big bug on the same 
Make no. the eggs out of like turmeric powder or something. It was amazing. Good? It be oh. funny, yeah, it was good, but really good. It was delicious. you can't play, replace a real egg. That's what you do, don't you? Add Kimbo? some Greek yogurt and maybe some peanut butter. Depends how I feel at the time, but I'll either get like an acai bowl or something, or I usually go with like bacon or eggs. And how many coffees do you have a day? <laughs> I try and limit myself to like three. If I'm bored or if I don't much on, I'll, I'll have like five a day. It's not very good granola, it's lots of sugar. It's delicious. <laughs> I make it healthy, I put a banana on it. That's almond and coconut milk. I don't like normal milk, it makes me feel sick. I'm Meg Cox, I'm the owner of Shy Gymnastics and CrossFit Kiriwe. Started gymnastics when I was four, and then I moved into like a selective competitive stream and did that till I was, I think I was about 14. I hurt my back but then I had to decide between if I wanted to do swimming or gymnastics, um, I chose swimming. We've CrossFit Kiriwe for, well we've been here for two months, but the company itself has been running for about seven months. Shai Gymnastics has been running for 10 years, but almost three years with me. I'm 27, I'm turning 28 in March. I own CrossFit Kiriwe with um, my boyfriend, Mitch, and part of my brother as well. And then Shai Gymnastics, my mum helps me out a lot. Um, she helped me get the loan to buy the business. It's very busy. It's um, it's a lot on your body, it's a lot on your mind, but um, I've got a good community around me, so that helps. I started coaching CrossFit athletes before I started doing actual CrossFit myself, so I had a lot of people asking for one-on-one -on -one sessions to learn muscle-ups and handstands and all that sort of stuff, and then that kind of brought me into the CrossFit world. So then I started training and realizing that I actually really liked the style of training. Let's go to move Casey's car to get out. Well, that's her car. I grew up in Cronulla my whole life, but um, the only other place I lived was Canada when I was 15. I lived there for a year. I'm afraid of the ocean. Sharks freak me out. Plastic bags in the ocean freak me out. Plastic. Everything in the ocean freaks me out. But like everyone thinks like I'm a typical shy girl, like blonde hair, blue eyes, that I'm going to be a surfer. Hate it. Absolutely hate it. That was the long drive. <laughs> We're at Shy Gymnastics. Ready to start work, first day back in January. Haven't worked for four weeks. So. Welcome to the smell. This morning will be girls only, but uh, we do have a boys competitive program as well. There's like 40 boys and probably 80 girls. Come on ladies. Stop smiling. I'm kidding. Who's feeling a little bit tight? Brilliant. You're pushing your chest out in your handstand. Keep it in. Open the shoulders. They're like the, just a group of clowns. And they're all shredded. Yeah, ho, oh, toes up, toes up. Yeah, your, your leg forms everywhere and you clear hip though. It's very loose. That one's the national champion. She's number one in Australia. You can tell because she doesn't look like she's struggling. 16 and a half hours a week, is that what you do? Yeah. Yes. About 16 and a half hours a week, so they do four sessions a week. And they do, they're do they doing CrossFit on Saturdays before they train as well. It's a good transfer for the strength and stuff that they use in gymnastics, um, as well as doing cardio, which a lot of gymnasts 
don't do cardio. Like they just do like lots of chin ups and leg lifts and rope climbs, but they don't do any like actual fitness. So when they do a routine, they like start dying because it's too hard because it's too long. A bit of CrossFit mix um, to like the strength and cardio, it's a good balance for them. They love it because they're all good at it. They can do everything. So like keeping toes while they got in like the first lesson. They were doing workouts with like handstand walks and legless rope climbs and wall balls on the first day and it was all like piece of cake for them. Go train. So at the moment I'm following um, Misfit Athletics. I've only been doing it for like the past couple of weeks, so still just playing around with it. Some things I'll change, like if I need to work on something, I'll change a movement and I'm doing the hatch squat program. So I do that by myself and if they have a squatting or something, I'll just sub that out for my squats. I'll keep doing this up until past the open regionals. It just gives me some structure. And this is like a test and adjusting as well. Like I'll test some warm ups now and make sure they work and going into the open to make sure heart rate's at a good, a good state and warm but not fatigued. So testing phase. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm down for a swim. I just finished like the Air Force PT course. Got posted here. I'm supposed to be here for three years. In the Air Force I changed jobs, so now I'm just doing like all PT stuff. Just like CJ. It's gonna help me especially in like during the open and the lead up to regionals and things like that where I struggled to get work off and got sent away a lot. Last year I rocked up on a Thursday night, missed all the registration, so I didn't know what was going on. Had to fly out like straight away Sunday, so I didn't even have a beer or nothing like that. We have our plan, Emily. We always come in here with a plan to get in and get out, but it never happens. <laughs> you get lost. Sean Bootwood does not eat spinach and eggs. We trained the other day and his post-workout was one of those Hershey's chocolate bars. I sort of go off myself to go on top 10 as long as I don't drop any barbells on my knees from now until then. Um, should be okay. I reckon there'll be a couple more new moves coming out this year. Maybe I'd like to see strict handstand push-ups. What are you least looking forward to Bacon. with the open? The least least looking forward to um just it's just stressful it's just a stressful time of the year i don't like stress past two years i was 
always sitting like 28th, 29th, going into the last workout. So, and I'd only jump up like that 10, 15 spots because I go right in the last workout. But if I bomb that last workout, I'm done. So, it's always stressful. to my fifth year in CrossFit. Um, I've been to regionals twice in teams. One was for CrossFit Cronulla and then one was for G-Force. I love being part of a team. It's it's totally different to being on the floor by yourself, getting to like experience it with other people and hurt with other people. I'd like to see some deficit handstand push-ups. That would be nice, but I don't think it ever is going to happen in the open. Um, there will always be burpees. I think Kara is going to be number one. I do think Tia could get it this year though. Depending on, I don't know, is Pip doing it this year? If she does it, she's always a beast. It's a filter coffee. Fancy coffee. <laughs> a soft fancy. My brother's a coffee snob, so is Amy. I, I am not, no. I not. am not, yes you are. Latte, simple. If Alex makes the coffee, it tastes about a thousand times better. Nothing wrong with a bit of milk. <laughs> don't like it. It tastes so much better than instant coffee. It's delicious. That's <laughs> <laughs> right. Mitch's one is Little Miss Princess. I like wake up at four fifty in the morning, so I need about three coffees a day to stay alive. Mitch, rolling in all, not ready. What's your favourite zipper you got? Very floss. Very floss, that's the one that no one likes. The best it's one! It's, it's delicious. 15 left over at the house. Very floss is the best flavor, what are you talking about? No one likes yellow. a week, recovery days I'll try and do it, or if I'm really sore. Did yesterday afternoon, had a swim and I felt really good and trained, trained well that afternoon. So it works. He's just terrible at it. Mm. <laughs> the, the dragon. <laughs> Who is this? 
about 30 more seconds or maybe 16. Always get salmon right though, don't I? I always make sure I'm eating enough food and good food. I don't um, just eat whatever's there or get lazy with my food. Always make sure that I'm eating something good. Well, before I started CrossFit, I, I was like, you just eat whatever and just ate junk food. And then when I first started CrossFit, I was like real like low carb, probably not enough calories, but now it's like pretty, pretty balanced. I'd like to think so. It's a Himalayan pink salt light bulb. So like, if you taste it, it's like a Himalayan rock, big rock salt. It's supposed to purify the air. Put it on when you sleep. Training wise, I, I always need to get stronger, so I'll always be working on that. But more like health wise, I've had tonsillitis the part, uh, in the past year, maybe like, how many times then? Maybe like five or six? Yeah. About five or six times. And I'm not sure like, what that was from whether it's like a just being run down or things like that so I just need to be careful with my training and making sure I don't overtrain as well because I find like if I'm having big weeks of training that's when I'll get sick so I just as long as I stay healthy and don't get sick from now until regionals um, I'll be happy to to do that I want to go top 10 in the open so it's a goal I set for myself like leaving regionals last year, I was a bit dis. I was, oh, actually, I was very disappointed in how I went. Regionals is a funny one because, like, you know, it just depends on what workouts come out as. As long as I stay healthy, and then some of the workouts come out in my favour, and then I don't do, uh, and then I do um, better than I thought I would in the workouts that I don't think I would do so well in. Then um, I'd like to. Uh, I'm aiming for top five anyway.